Hello everyone. Today in this video, I am going to discuss about most important speaking tips for OET role play for pharmacy. So the OET speaking test is profession specific for pharmacy candidates. The role play will be related to their subject, their profession only. OET pharmacy test takers, they will get two speaking tasks each. So the candidates will be given role players card. You need to make notes as you prepare for your speaking. You can take about uh, three minutes to prepare the task. So each speaking task would be a role play. It's an act where the examiner will be playing as the role of a client and the candidate would play the role of a pharmacist. So here the candidate needs to interact with the client and need to answer specific question that the client will be asking. Basically, in your profession, you need to counsel him on his medication intake and moreover on what is good or what is not good for him or her. So here, in case of pharmacist, you do not have to diagnose the disease and moreover you also do not need to examine the patient. So kindly, the first task is to read the task very well and next is you need to complete all the tasks which are given. So today I am going to discuss a sample role play. It is in front of you on the screen. You can read it very carefully. I will give you some time to read it. So here the setting is community pharmacy which is most important thing. Please note down the setting always. And then let's see what is the situation. The client presents at the pharmacy requesting a large box of 100 tablets of drug. The drug Y is a drug which is used to clear nasal congestion. So drug is a stimulant and is often used or abused by drug drivers to help them stay awake. It is also used or we can say abused by people trying to lose weight. In order not to restrict legitimate use of the drug unduly, small packets of tablets, 20 tablets are available on a pharmacist's recommendation. Packets containing more than 20 tablets can only be supplied on a doctor's prescription. Packets containing more than 20 tablets can only be supplied on a doctor's prescription. So this is the situation given to you. Now let's read the task. Explain that a doctor's prescription is required for packets of more than 20 drug white tablets. Explain the reasons for the legislation. Okay. Explain that you would be breaking the law if you supplied a large box of tablet without a prescription. Try to persuade the client to visit his or her doctor to discuss how the medical condition should best be managed during the trip and to arrange appropriate medication. First of all, I will discuss the steps to follow while preparing your role play. First thing is you need to jot down the notes against every task so you have four tasks here the first thing is explaining the importance of getting a prescription second thing explaining the legislation then explaining that you cannot break the law and also you need to recommend what the client should do next which is you need to tell about a consultation with the doctor and come back with the prescription also you need to take charge of the situation right from the beginning moreover you can also expect there may be argument also between you and uh, the patient or the client. So your client is asking for a large amount of drugs without prescription. Obviously, you cannot give the client the drugs without prescription. So here you need to be very firm as well as you need to be very strong. And also you need to show your unwillingness to give in to your client's demands as you will be breaking the law if you did or hand over the drugs. So here you can expect that your examiner can give you a hard time. He can argue with you, even shout at you. But you have to remain calm. So here I can give you a tip here. You can start the task by asking for a prescription. Like you can say, hello, good morning. How may I help you? Or then you can say, good morning. How may I help you? May I see your doctor's prescription? Here, your client is not having any prescription. Then you can answer like you can say, Ma'am or Sir, I see that you are requesting for 100 tablets. As per the law, I cannot give you more than 20 tablets without a doctor's prescription. Here, your client has not got any prescription. 
so you can just begin by explaining the client regarding these drugs and also you can tell the importance of the prescription here you may have argument he will be asking again about 100 tablets then you can say that uh, we have a problem here uh, ma'am or sir I have to check the prescription by the doctor because you are requesting for 100 tablets then you can very calmly say as per law I cannot give you more than 20 tablets without doctor's prescription. Here now you can expect that your client will be agitated by now. And now definitely you will have an argument because she needs 100 tablets. Maybe she is going on a long trip. Maybe she wants to send them to someone. Maybe somebody has told her that the pharmacy will supply drugs without prescription. It can be anything. So here, the main thing is, I'll give you a tip again. You need to change your tone, your language and your attitude to suit the age and situation of the client. But here, kindly remember, you have to be firm and calm most of the time in order to be heard and in order to convince your client. Don't forget, he or she is your client. For example, if your client says that she needs these drugs immediately and has no time to get a prescription from a doctor, then you can say, I understand it is hard for you to find time to go to the doctor immediately. I am authorized to give you 20 tablets without a prescription. Will that be okay for now? This is a better way. Then you say that in a couple of days, you can visit the doctor and get a prescription. You can also send someone with the prescription and I'll hand over the tablets to them. So this is how you will try to resolve a problem and giving a further plan of action. So this is maybe this is the way you can calm your agitated client down and also you can convince her to think of an option. One of your tasks is to explain why you need a prescription. Here you need to explain why there is a law. You can say that the government is very strict in regulating the loose, uh, use of this drug since many people abuse this drug. Then you can say, do you know that many drug drivers are addicted to it because they use them to stay awake the whole night? So this is very dangerous. Maybe for young kids also, they use for weight loss. So you can say, we are only authorized to give you 20 tablets without prescription. And then more than that, you need a prescription. Here, while you're speaking, you always make sure that you let your client know that you are on his or her side and you would really like to help her or him. Here, you can say, I wish I could do something to help you here, but if I break the law, then I might get arrested and charged or lose my job and the pharmacy shut. I just cannot risk that ma'am or sir. I hope you understand. So here, this is the way you can tackle the patient. Then you make sure that you never suggest the client is asking you to break the law, but is just trying hard to get the tablets. So you must always be on client side and try to emphasize her situation also or his solution, her situation also. Then he will also try to tell you that he will not uh, never abuse the drug. You can check his history and uh, you know, he will also like he will use his tactics to pressurize you to give you the drugs. But you just in order to persuade your client to go back and get a drug and get a prescription, you could ask a few questions like you can say, OK, so when do you want the medicines by or how many tablets do you have to take per day? And if you miss a dose, what happens? Then you can say, can I suggest another over-the-counter milder drug to help you on days you have run out of this medicine? So when you will be asking these questions, you will be reassuring the client that you are concerned about his health issues and not you are not suggest you that you are not simply getting into an argument about legal procedures, but you are also trying to help your client. This will have to stop arguing and also start thinking on an alternative method to solve a problem. So you need to gently suggest to your client that he or she ne needs to get a prescription and also you need to make sure that he or she is happy. Let him know that you will keep all the medicines ready when he comes with the prescription. So you must conclude your role play conversation with your client after you make sure that he is happy with your suggestion. Again, you can ask appropriate question to make sure and to suggest further course of action. 
like the question can be are you okay with this or you can say is there anything else you need me to do or you can say do you want me to give you doctor abc's contact number or you can say that i can write for you a few drug names that will help you with your nasal congestion just in case you are not able to get a prescription so you can say that in order to have safe travel you can get it at any pharmacy without prescription it means i'm talking about the other nasal congestion drugs and you don't have to carry a lot of drugs with you all over the place so then you have to you know you'll be uh, very much genuinely concerned about it so say goodbye cheerfully okay and tell him or her that you hope to see her soon with the prescription you can say bye mrs abc hope to see you soon we are open till 9:30 pm today just give me a call and i'll do the needful so this is how you have to attempt this role play in a very good manner to score your desired score at least b grade mm-hmm. make sure that you are fluent make sure you have a correct use of grammar and you are fulfilling the task completely so use the good english vocabulary and correct grammar while speaking and asking questions practice few role plays also with your friends or with your colleagues or with your classmates before you take the test i hope you might have liked the session and your i have tried to clear some of your doubts and you'll be more confident now how to attempt how to act in a role play for pharmacy um thank you for listening to me watching this video and stay tuned until the next video bye bye take care good luck